Hello everyone, this is Ted. Today we're going to be doing something different. So what I thought uh, about changing in my channel is that for every episode that I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, do an order um, live so that you can see it, how I make the orders. So today I have chosen uh, Wongi's order and she wanted a vitamin C serum. So it's a gel serum, and I'm gonna go through uh, all the ingredients that we want. Now, before we start, I'd like you guys to take a moment and check if you have subscribed. If you haven't, please do so now. If you are subscribing, I would like to thank you for the support and continue to watch the videos as they are going to become more and more informative. Now, let's get to what we're supposed to do. So, as I mentioned, uh, let me go through the ingredients that we're going to use. One, distilled water. It is our solvent uh, that we're going to use to dissolve some of our products. And it's going to form the bulk of the uh, formulation in terms of uh, what we will have as a finished product. Then, the star... Uh, ingredient is your xanthan gum. So what is xanthan gum? So let me take some time here just to explain to you guys what xanthan gum is and what are the different xanthan gums that you get out there and what you should consider when you use uh, xanthan gum. So as mentioned, uh, I will always uh, refer to the product and give you a little bit of background. So xanthan gum is an ionic polysaccharide it's produced by a bacteria called Xanthomonas chemstris. Kem That's what it's called. So I'm not going to say that again because it's a tongue twister. It is um, uh, produced using a fermentation method and uh, it has three sugars uh, in it. It's got glucose, it's got mannose, and it's also got glucuronic acid. It's usually white and almost the powder is odorless, so you won't have that smell uh, with the product. It is soluble in hot or cold water, but I'm going to tell you a tip with xanthan gum. When you add xanthan gum to water, it doesn't matter which xanthan gum it is, I'm going to explain the three different xanthan gums today. It doesn't matter which one it is, when you add it to water, it clumps up and it, uh, it's not desirable for your product. So if you want to make your xanthan gum look nice and clear, you need to add it to a humectant, all right? Your humectant could be glycerin, it could be um, propylene glycol, it could be sodium lactate. And um, then you will make a nice slurry uh, so that you don't get that clumping. So that is one tip that you need to keep in mind when using xanthan gum. And we're going to do it here today so that you can see exactly uh, what this is all about. And then, um, as I mentioned, it is a humectant. Um, sorry, it is a thickening agent and a stabilizer as well. It forms a very nice, clear gel, all right? But it depends which uh, gel you are going to use. So let's look at the three different xanthan gums that we've got. We've got xanthan gum, which is a food uh, a product, and this is beige, it's jelly, and it doesn't have a nice texture. It is sticky and it's slimy. So I don't uh, use it at all. I used to use it, but I don't prefer it at all in terms of my formulation. Then there is xanthan gum soft. This is a lighter version. It's got a very nice clear gel, but my favorite is Xanthan gum clear. Xanthan gum clear gives a very nice, light, and clear, like almost clear uh, a gel uh, that you can see very nicely. So that is my go-to xanthan gum. If you're looking for that xanthan gum, you will find it, as I said, www at the chemist plug and you will find the xanthan gum. I think the store is the only one in South Africa right now that is selling xanthan gum clear. So if you want it, please go there. Now, where do you use it? You can use it in shampoos, uh, in masks, in lotions, in milk serums. So it's, a, it's, it's got a variety of uh, places where you can use this product. But be aware, don't use it with surfactants that are cationic because it's not going to work. I've done it and everything went liquidy, so don't try it at home. 
Now, that's what is uh, xanthan gum. As I said, it's a stabilizer and it's a thickener. And we're going to use it today as a thickener in our product uh, for that gel formation that we are looking for. The second ingredient is sodium lactate. I'm gonna go a little bit faster this time. It's a natural source and it's a sodium salt of lactic acid. And um, it has a moisturizing factor. It's a humectant and it can also adjust pH. So you can see that this product is got a little bit of variety in terms of how you can use it. Which other products are we talking about today? DL Pentanol aka pro-vitamin B5. I love this product and uh, I hate to use it in a gel, but I prefer the powder version. So when using um, uh, DL Pentanol, what you need to know is that it's readily absorbed within the skin. It has moisturizing properties, improves hydration and uh, reduces water loss. And it also stimulates skin uh, regeneration and boost healing. This part I did not know. So you will be asking me, where do I get all this information? I'm going to tell you just now uh, in terms of where I get all this information. It also maintains the skin elasticity and softness. Its usage rate is one to five. And its ideal pH needs to be between eight to nine. And the uses, as I mentioned, you can use it in any products that you are making. So where do I get most of my information? This is the book that is my go-to. Everything that I look at, it's in this book. But I have to also mention that some of the information I do look up in the encyclopedia of Humble Bee and Me. So if you want some information, you can go there and uh, get some information. But this is my go-to book that I use. Then we've got a star ingredient as well, Allentoin. Allentoin is a skin conditioning, skin protection, and it's also soothing. Slightly soluble in water. It gives me headache when you have to dissolve this one. So we use a little bit of heat to um, make it dissolve co uh, uh, completely. Um, this product I love because for every person, we have to use it. Are you not stressed? Are you, don't you have an irritated skin? And for those that shave and sunbathing, there is that uh, benefit that you are going to get because it's a skin conditioning, it protects, and it also soothes. So most of the time, try add it into your formulation. The next one is Liquid Gemal Plus. And within Liquid Gemal Plus, what we need to look at is that Liquid Gemal Plus is a broad spectrum uh, preservative beginner friendly. I love this one. And the reason why I love it is because it is so easy to use. It's pH range, it's wide, three to eight, and it's also a clear viscous liquid. It dissolves in water. And the one big issue that you need to uh, look at is that it is temperature sensitive. So you have to add it in a cool down phase where your temperature is at least 40, uh, 40 degrees Celsius and below. I always go for 35 degrees Celsius just to be uh, safe. What is its usage rate? It is 0 0.1 to 0 0.5, which is the max. But I can tell you now, I have used it at 0 0.5 and have had issues with very difficult formulations. So I then changed to another preservative. So I think we are left with one product, which is what we're going to use as a functional ingredient. It is vitamin C. I'm not using L-ascorbic acid. I am using sodium ascorbial phosphate. It's a white powder. It's a derivative of L-ascorbic acid. And this one, it's much more stable, unlike L-ascorbic acid. Its benefits, beautiful. Skin lightening and brightening, boost collagen production, anti-aging, excellent antioxidant properties, free radical inhibition, anti-acne. And for it to be stable, the pH needs to be below 6.5. So, 
I think we are done today in terms of looking at the ingredients. I think it's very important that you get to understand the ingredients that we make when we are using these uh, products so that you understand what the product is all about. So now that you've learned about the products that we're going to use making the vitamin C serum, you are going to get more of a snippet of ingredients uh, when we make products. So in the next episode, you will see exactly how we make the products using the ingredients that I've just explained. Please remember, all the information that I have given you is coming from Modern Cosmetic Book and also from Humble Bee and Me. So, well, we'll see you in the next episode while making Bongi's Vitamin C uh, Serum. I always end with this. Subscribe, please, and also hit that notification bell. It's easy. Twing! and everything will be done. And you won't miss any episode uh, when we come uh, to you. Ciao.